Okay, so in this video, we've got a mix of uh, differentiating skills uh, working with the inverse trig functions. So let's go for number one first. Y equals arc sine of one third x. So the derivative of the inside is one third. So one third is going to come out the front. Arc sine differentiates to one over the square root of one minus x squared. So we'll have 1 over the square root of 1 take away, and the x is 1 third x, so 1 third x all squared. So I'm going to want to simplify that. So that's going to be equal to 1 over 3 lots of the square root of 1 take away 1 ninth x squared. Okay, and so that is the derivative of arc sine of a third x. Okay, let's have a look at number 2, y equals arc cosine of 8x. So using the chain rule, the derivative of the inside is 8, which is going to come out the front. Arc cosine differentiates to minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus, and the x is replaced with 8x. So 8x all squared. And so we'll have minus 8 over the square root of 1 take away 64x squared. OK, so that's the derivative of arc cosine of 8x. Right, number 3, y equals arc tan of 2 fifths of x. So dy by dx. The derivative of the inside is 2 fifths, which comes out the front. Arc tan differentiates to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So that will be 1 over 1 plus, and the x is replaced with 2 fifths x. So 2 fifths x all squared. So we've got 2 over 5 lots of 1 plus 2 20 fifths x squared. OK, so let's multiply through by the 5 in the denominator first. So 2 over 5 plus 2 fifths x squared. I don't particularly like having that um, nested fraction. Uh, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5. So 10 over 25 plus 2 x squared is the derivative of arc tan of 2 fifths x. Okay. Number four, y equals arc sine of 2x minus 5. So the derivative of the inside is 2, so that comes out the front. Arc sine differentiates to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So 1 over the square root of 1 minus, and the x is 2x minus 5, so 2x minus 5 squared. So we'll have 2 over the square root of 1 take away. Now, we can expand this um, if we like. Uh, it really depends on the format that the question wants you to get the final answer into. So 4x squared uh, take away, uh, what's that, 20x plus 25. So we'll have 2 over the square root of uh, 20x um, minus 4x squared and 1 take away 25, so minus 24. OK. Um, I guess you could factor the 4 out of this and square root that. And that's going to knock out the 2 in the numerator. So that would be 1 over the square root of 5x take away x squared uh, take away 6. That's probably as uh, simplified as you can get it. Okay, so that's number 4. Right, number 5. 
3x squared, the interior function differentiates to 6x, so we'll have 6x out the front. Uh, arc cosine differentiates to minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, so minus 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, so 3x squared squared, so we have minus 6x over the square root of 1 take away 9x to the 4. And so that would be the derivative of arc cosine of 3x squared. Number 6, uh, y equals x squared times arc tan of x. So this will use the product rule because we've got the product of x squared and arc tan x. So we've got the first times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so 2x arc tan of x. So we'll have x squared over 1 plus x squared plus uh, 2x arc tan of x. And so that is the derivative of number 6. And finally, number 7, y equals e to the power of arc sine of x. So the derivative of the inside, arc sine of x, we know is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So that's going to come out the front. e differentiates to itself, and the interior function stays the same. And so that is the derivative of number 7. And so that is how we can use uh, our differentiation skills alongside these new derivatives um, to differentiate each of these.